Hey guys, welcome back to Techogram. Today we're gonna learn how to create data reports in Microsoft Visual Basic. So let's begin. In the previous video, we have learned how to create this database and link it with Microsoft Access. We have created a form. If you have not checked out the previous video, I suggest you go check them out. You can see in the top right corner, there is a link. Click on that. I have two videos. First is with data controls and second is with without standard data control. You can use either of the video and create a form. The video is linked down in the description so you can check the description and directly see that and come after that learn how to create the data reports. So the steps are particularly the same we have created a database then I created a form then linked it with database set all the properties. Now we have to add a data environment. So what you have to do first go to the project create a data environment there is a connection one right click click on the properties and choose that what we have done in our connection string same thing choose our database this is here example and click on the test connection test connection succeeded press ok and now again right click and click on the add command and on the add command click on property so here keep in mind you have to choose the table because we have created table in our database and the name of the object is our table name so click apply click ok now what you have to do close go to your form and now we will print the report on the click of a command button so we will create a command button here report show and now what you have to do we have created our data environment now we will create our data report click on the add data report in project so you can see there is a data report now open your data environment so we have click on the So this is our data report we have clicked on project and add data reports this showed up and now what you have to do is resize it on the half of the screen and then click on the data environment and also resize this on the half of the screen and now when you you can see there is a small plus sign here click on that and you can see there are three e number e name and cell so these are the columns in our database so what you have to do just drag and drop this in our data report so i will drag this and here again do the same thing for e name and do the same thing for the salary you can see there are e number e number command e name e name cell cell command so what you have to do you have to pick this first one and the, you can see there are five sections here first is the header report header page header details the footer and report footer so these are the header these are the name of the column so set them in the page header and set this all in the page header and now just below them set this second one we will do the same thing for this and we will do the same thing for this you can see we have perfectly aligned all this now what you have to do as this is our data report all this will be performed on a click of the command button which we have created here and double click on that and directly write because the name here is data report one you have to write data report one dot show now in the report data report section click on the data source and choose our data environment one and then data member choose the our command button because the name of the command button is command one we will choose the command one and now we will run our program let's see run the program this is our ADDC control you can see all the three records I have explained everything in our previous program go check that out now we will press the command button on pressing the command button you can see all our three details are shown here so there is space between the our records so you can how you can decrease this go to your data report and do this just drag it here again run the program hit your dc click on command tab. this is how you can create the data report by using microsoft visual access and visual basic link and you can also there are two options you can see the first is a print which directly print and you can also export this in the text file or html file we will export it in a text file and we will name it report of employees 
and save it in the picture folder i think so now we will save this directly on the desktop click on the save now minimize everything you can see there is here is our report of emp and when you click you can see these are our three record this is how you can create a report of the data that is saved in microsoft visual access hope you like the video if you like the video please press the like button all the required links are in the description if you have any suggestion error or program please comment down below thank you